so we are going to do today working capital management okay now generally when you ask what is working capital generally the people say current asset minus current liability but we need to learn in a broader sense what actually it means that is the formula that current asset minus current liability please understand there are many things to learn what happens the problem with the chapter is please understand there are different approaches and institute will not sol solve the question by various approaches they will show you only one approach so you should know what the different methods have been used if you remember in one of the question capital budgeting when we are doing we matched with the the last question what we did i think where it was something 19 lakh 13000 or something we got and we matched with the institute and someone specifically said me sir they have not taken the tax savings on the salvage correct you remember the thing so there are some mistakes they follow some of the assumptions so always guys here also whenever you are doing the sum please write the approach which you are following okay so that because see uh you can't i don't know whether the suggested what you get okay it actually has both the approaches it it never has because suggested will have only one many a times they tell you that ha follow the specify this approach so whenever it is possible if the question is not clear please 100% you have to write your assumptions please be uh, very cautious about it to write in this chapter whenever you are taking 360 days in a year you should mention it that you are taking 360 days in a year that is your assumption okay it is possible that they might have taken 365 okay to make your calculation easy you can take 360 no problem okay so therefore the sometime what happens when the student try to match na the answer with the institute it doesn't match so always be conceptually very clear that what we are doing and conceptually there is very a strong very strong chapter okay calculation wise you can understand but there are many things like we had one confusion when we started with the working capital discussion someone said me in capital budgeting sir working capital raw material it is used so it's an expenditure i agree but it's a investment working capital is what short term investment and so we are going to dig into this topic okay what exactly working capital means so let me give you the overview of the chapter write the heading working capital management working capital management first part is working capital financing what we are going to learn working capital financing second thing cash management cash budgeting okay you try to budget the cash how much will be the inflow how much will be the outflow very easy topic third is receivables management or debtors management next is inventory management now this is covered in costing okay this is covered in costing so they never test this part in fm which one inventory management because it is already tested in costing next is creditors management this is also not tested in your exam creditors management okay this is also this two are not tested least tested least or till this point they have never asked on creditors management or inventory management till we will do one or two sums okay of each so that in case and anyways you are going to do it in costing so there it will get covered so the main focus of this chapter is the main focus of this chapter is working capital financing cash management receivables management what will happen if if what will happen 
if there is no working capital now let me explain you what is working capital first it's short term investment okay to run the business the capital what is required is called as working capital so if it is not there what will happen i'm asking you if it is not there means there is no sufficient working capital it will affect day to day business of the company correct what else verge of ending that is called solvency correct na solvency or insolvency what it is called insolvency it is called technical insolvency what it is called technical means you might have there might a time come where you might have have to close down your business most of my consulting firms which i get have a this type of problem and you need to know how to tackle this problems please remember please understand so it's very crucial okay so having a adequate working capital it's good okay neither this thing should be more neither it should be less if it is more that means you are not using your resources to the fullest and if it is less if it is less okay that means you are having a there is a chance that you might have to file for insolvency okay so we need to understand that what is uh, exactly what is working capital in short yeah, let us write first format then we will discuss let us write the format format of working capital i am making the calculation in the in this part itself this is particulars this is working and this will be amount in rupees okay a current asset okay in current asset first one is stock in stock there are two categories the three categories raw material wip finished goods haters haters then what will come cash current assets current assets everybody know what is current asset right short term assets what is the definition for current asset the asset which can be converted into cash within a year the asset which can be converted into cash within a year is current asset prepaid expense short term investment short term investment total current asset please write all this you have to write this okay please write 
those who have not written the overview please write outstanding income outstanding income means what he is asking someone is asking outstanding income accrued income whether it will form part of current asset yes or no according to your knowledge yes it will form i can't write everything now whatever comes in a current asset this is just illustrative yes there are many current assets then written na should i proceed ha ah, okay okay no problem take your time don't skip anything please write okay then next write the heading current liabilities p current liabilities current liabilities in that creditors bank od bank overdraft everybody knows what is bank overdraft what is bank od current account holders can withdraw more than what they hold in the account that facility is called bank overdraft if you don't have the money not saving account only current account the business account gets this facility okay is it free is it free no obviously there is interest yes what is cash credit then what is cash credit then what is bank overdraft and what is cash credit then means i can't understand where it is bank and where it is cash means cash credit is given in cash bank credit is given in bank account is it so <laughs> no i just i i wanted to make some fun so i just made it but he understand the difference purposely i have given it so that simultaneously i said now we can cover the theory and all concept should be clear means what are this thing what are the differences bank code is given on current account cash credit is also on current account but generally generally bank code is unsecured generally i am saying it depends if you don't have that much of relation with the bank na then they might ask for the security but generally the bank code is unsecured but the main feature is what you know and cash credit let me talk about cash credit also cash credit is against the stock against the stock so it is secured means you have a stock on an average this much stock is there in your godown on uh, by hypothecating that you get a loan that is called cash credit okay so in both you get limits like in bank code also you get limit cash credit also you get limit how much you want to utilize it depends on you and what is the interest charged on the amount utilized by you is it clear the amount what you utilize now on that the interest is charged then what is the main difference the main difference is that bank od bank od is a callable callable means it's a callable uh, means it it should be repaid when the bank manager calls you up if let's say you took a bank od understood and bank needs urgent money and you are enjoying that od then bank can immediately next day also it can call up and tell you please deposit your money what you have withdrawn overdrawn are you understanding but cash credit is running account you just go on paying the interest okay and enjoy that line of credit 
Are you understanding the difference? Bank OD can be bank OD can be secured as well as unsecured. It depends how your relation is with the bank. Cash credit is secured. Okay, but the main difference is what? Bank OD is callable. Means anytime the manager can ask you to repay. Bank can ask you to repay. Cash credit running account. Running account means once you withdraw the money, enjoy it. Just keep on paying the interest. Is it clear guys? Okay. Bank OD, cash credit, anything else? Outstanding expense. Outstanding expense. Outstanding expense. This is one more liability. So the total of this will get you total current liabilities. Total current liabilities. Please write this. Total current liabilities. Please write this. This is B, right here B, this is B, total of B. What you will get is net working capital. Net working capital. That is A minus B. This is A. This is B. A minus B is net working capital. Current asset minus current liabilities. The raw material price which you have taken in the calculation above, okay. The raw material price which you have taken in the calculation above or the units what you have budgeted, okay. These are all budgeting. Working capital requirement means you are making a budget, okay. How much working capital is required? Can change, can change. Are you understanding what I am saying? Whatever the assumptions you have made can change, yes or no. Whatever the fig, whatever the figure. So what it is done, there is always add safety margin is added. What is added? Safety margin or provision for contingency. Provision for contingency. Contingency in the sense there might be some extra expenses. Provision for contingency. So you add that. Okay. And this is the what you get is working capital. Working capital required. Working capital required by firm. Working capital required by firm. This much is the working capital requirement of the firm. Okay. See, because if you, why I am overstating? Because when I am adding this, that means I am overstating it. Why I am overstating it? Because if I fall short now, then it will be very much problematic. So, on a safer side, what I am doing? I am thinking that I will require more investment. My assumption is that. So I add safety margin that will be given in the question 5%, 10% or the amount will be given. Okay. Provision for contingency means what? I am providing for what? Consistency. Con contingency. Contingency means what? The liability which can occur in the future. Correct? The working capital required by the firm. Done. How the calculations are done? Listen carefully. Now, the student who doesn't understand all these things now will be a problem. Listen what I am saying. Unit is given multiplied by raw material rate is given and that is multiplied by period. Now understand this is annual unit. This is annual unit. Please understand. Annually, understand the logic concept. Annually, I require 10,000 units, let's say. Annually, I require 10,000 units of raw material. Okay, or whatever the units I have to make is 10,000. Now multiplied by the rate of raw material is 5. So that means annually 10,000 into 5, I require raw material of 50,000. Correct guys? Any doubt in this? Clear? Now do you think that full year's consumption, full annual consumption, do you stock? Do you think is it practical? 50,000 in a year I require. 50,000 in a year I require. Will I stock the whole year's consumption? Will I stock it? No. I stock for let's say one month. So I will do it 1 by 12. So 50,000 divided by 12, whatever is getting, 
on an average please remember my word on an average just give me the figure 50000 divided by 12 how much it is let's make it 6 let's make it easy 6 so 60000 60000 divided by 12 will be how much 5000 so on an average i require in my go down please understand if you want to understand the chapter you have to be thorough with this things 5000 i'm stressing on this things on an average 5000 means it can be 8000 also at a point of time it can go down to 3000 also but again you order again you recoup it to the 5000 are you understanding what i am saying so we are doing an average we are doing an average now what happens in the exam is sometime they give you this multiplied means this this multiplied by this means this will be given so you need to understand that annual consumption is given So I need to multiply that with what period? Are you understanding what I'm saying? Sometimes in the question, units multiplied by period means directly they will give you. On an average, I have stock of five hundred units. That means it's for a period. I don't know. I'm not. I have not calculated ten thousand divided by twelve. I'm just taking an abstract figure. Five hundred units. You should understand. On an average, they are stocking five hundred. Means no need to multiply it with. Means it's not annual. It is for a period. No need to multiply again it with period. It's already units annual units multiplied by period is given. Are you understanding? This is the only twist what they can make. Is it clear what I have said? What I have said? Okay. So like this we will do. What annual units? multiplied by rate okay and multiplied by period so we will get on an average i have made you the clear the logic why we are doing this right when annual unit is multiplied by rate annual consumption you will get multiplied by period on an average this much investment i require okay right note right note the items the items included in format above are the items included in format above are illustrative in nature illustrative in nature means what they are just an example you have to apply your logic what is current asset what is current liability they are just illustrative market one this one is first second the current asset the classification of current asset the classification of current asset the classification of current asset would be based on would be based on items that can be converted items that can be converted converted spelling is wrong converted into cash converted into cash within a year within a year within a year the item included in the format above are illustrative in nature the classification of current asset could be based on item items that can be converted into cash within a year current liability current liabilities would be based on current liabilities would be based on items which which falls due falls due for payment falls due for payment within a year yes any mistake
So the current liabilities would be based on item which falls due for payment within a year. Please copy this.